Let's do this, man. Amanda right. in the building. Yes, 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 ma'am. Yes, ma'am. So, Amanda, how how you been doing? What's what's been going on with you? I've been fabulous, living the dream, you know. Driving my new company, so So how how's the new company holding up for you? It's been pretty good. Um, you know, it's a hit or miss, you know, I'm lease purchase now. Uh so but so it's you know it's hit or miss right now, but it's been it's been fairly well. It's been a lot better than what I was. Let's talk about a lot better than it was. So uh since your video uh with uh with me the last time you was in the process of going to the new company but while at the same time you drove controversial companies super truck super ego truck what i say super truck super ego truck to the current uh-huh. company who you with now uh, I got a lot of Correct. I got a lot of comments, uh, a lot of comments, and a couple of emails. The people would like to know uh, what happened. Was there any uh, was there any consequences of your actions with controversial company Super Eagle? Nothing. I ain't nothing. The only thing they had a bunch of messages text messages to me threatening to call the authorities and it's going to be reported stolen and i'm going to lose my license and my career is going to be over and i'm going to jail and i just kept laughing at him i said it's not my fault you can't find it maybe you should go look for it you know but nothing i ain't got no warrants out <laughs> got no hit on my head actually i've been getting messages for me to come back like just like every other driver um I keep telling the base to the F off, you know, I'm not going back. Wow. But I didn't do nothing. Wow, man. That's that's crazy. So Regal came through. Acting all excited and all that, talking about he ready to expand or something. Oh yeah? Yeah. What you think about that, B? Uh the last time we talked, you you dropped the trailer in a different state or you or you dropped the trailer in a different state and you dropped the truck. In a different state, where where did you end up? No, I. What happened was, is I had dropped the trailer in Tennessee at a pilot, and you know when I was doing my orientation, while it was during my orientation, they impounded that trailer, but I went and picked it up. Y'all know I went and picked it up, and I told them I had it, sent them pictures, I had it. They paid for me to get it out of the impound. They said I'd have to reimburse them, which I already knew I wasn't going to because I wasn't staying. So I went and I took that trailer right back to where they in, they picked it up from and impounded it at, which is the pilot, and I dropped it again to get impounded again. And then I took the truck and I parked that at a Walmart probably about 10 miles away. Stuff some Gatorade down the depth of some stuff, some potato chips in the fuel, you know. No, you didn't. Make sure it was good. No, no you didn't. You I, did. swear, I swear I did. I swear I did. I poured Gatorade and chips all in that shit. I, I absolutely did. If I ain't driving that truck, ain't nobody else driving that truck neither. So not only <laughs> did you drop the trailer at back at the pilot, <laughs> back at the pilot, <laughs> you drove... Uh, a few miles down the way and and left the truck or the tractor at Walmart knowing that it was going to get told but you also added uh added uh some more salt to the matter by sabotaging the truck absolutely i i i sure did and it was a brand new truck it was a 2023 it only had like 50,000 50, miles on it, maybe. Jeez. Why sabotage the truck, though? Don't, don't you, don't you, don't you, don't you think? they ain't going to do nothing but take their truck and give it to somebody else and scam somebody, so why would I give them that opportunity? Yeah, but. I'm for the drivers, man. I ain't for the company. I'm for the drivers. And it was funny. So with all that happened, uh, 
this is about a couple of months now. They they, they haven't yeah. they they haven't sent you nothing in the mail as far as uh you know trying nothing. to get payback or something like that. Nothing. Nothing. They were calling like emergency contacts and everything else that I had on my form talking, telling them that, hey, she's got this truck. I mean, this went on for like three or four weeks that they were contacting. They were calling me nonstop from different numbers and asking where the truck was. And now, mind you, I already told them it was at a Walmart in Nashville. I told them that. Like, it's at a Walmart in Nashville. All they had to do was go look at the Walmart in Nashville. They, they would have found it within them three weeks. But they didn't. Instead, they wasted their time calling my emergency contacts, talking about I was getting, they were going to put a warrant out for me or whatever, or um, that the truck's stolen and this, that, and the other. And my emergency contacts, obviously, everybody already knew what was going on. And they just basically told them, like, hey, we ain't got nothing to do with that. You can stop calling our phone, too. And, um, you know, like I said, it went on. I even had Wolf from um, Lost Prevention, their Lost, their Lost Prevention guy sent me a message. I said, hey, I already told him it was at a Walmart in, in Nashville. It ain't my fault that they don't know how to find it. You know, and that was that. They they called everybody telling them I ripped the GPS out, which I did. I absolutely did. I ripped the GPS out and stuff at that tank full of whatever I had in my truck and went on about my day like didn't nothing happen. And I did it right in front of the security at Walmart. I don't care. I mean, what, what are they going to do? You know? I'm flabbergasted. I mean, I, I don't think I, I don't think I would have had the tenacity to do that. I mean, I, I would probably just drop the, the trailer and and truck and leave it at the same place. But, I mean, the extra steps that you took, I, I, I don't know if I could even do anything like that, man. Well, you know, you gotta think about all the stuff that they're doing to all these other drivers. It's not fair what they're doing to them. Now, mind you, I did make money. Like, I was bringing home $1,000 a week at least after my all my expenses. So I did make money, but I felt so bad to what they were doing to other drivers. Like, I felt bad. They were setting them up for failure. And that's not okay. You know, I'm not going to sit here and support a company. And look, now the scam, the scam page has over 4,000 followers because they're doing it to that many people. And I feel bad knowing that that God. Forgive me if I don't shake hands. Some people would say that that didn't have nothing to do with you. I mean, everything that you that you have done, it didn't have nothing to do with you. Why Why would you do something that didn't have anything to do with you? Like, I mean, if Super Ego was, was you know, doing it, you know, of course, doing it to what they doing to drivers, what that had to do with you to try to get back at Adam, I mean, get back at them by, you know, sabotaging their truck. In other words, well, I, guess I, guess, the, I, I guess what the people want to know is, is what you, what did you get out of? It? I supported my, my, basically, it's like a whole brother sisterhood, just like, you know, cops all stick together. Am, am I wrong on that? Like, you know, they shoot one in one city, like, all of them rallied together. Am I right or wrong? Like, drivers got to stick together. And if you, there's a company out there doing that many drivers that bad, and we know that they're scamming people. And I might have brought something home, but at the same time, they lied to me. They may not have, like, I mean, they they took money from me because if they're not giving me the actual rate, then they, they ultimately, they took from me. You know, so... They were doing it to me. I just made money out of it, whereas a lot of people don't. But the fact that they lied to me and then they did scam off the top of mine, too. But what do I look like out here working for a company that I know is scamming that many people? You do have a point. Point there. You know, drivers, you know, do need to stick together. It's just unfortunate that... The brotherhood is is not there so but uh yeah i i get it what, what i do it i uh, I, I, I don't think you know, I I'm, gonna would. I'm gonna support my fellow co-drivers right now let me ask you this if that was any other company other than controversial company super eagle 
Do you think you would have did it to any other company, say like Swift or or Prime? You, do you think you would ever? Do you think you would do that? And if you did do that, do you think you would get away with it? I would. I probably would not. Um, I mean, I'm. Pro- I'm gonna have to tread lightly on that one because if it was like Swift or anything else, I probably would not have made it as known as I did for the simple fact that they will mess with your driver report. Um, but I mean, there. I, I will be honest. I probably would have like put something in the fuel tank, or I would have done something. I would have made sure it got impounded, and you know, I probably would have, to be honest with you. I, I would have found a scenario where I could have gotten away with it where they wouldn't have fucked with me, you know, after I did it. I mean, I'm sure I could have came up with something. I probably would have. Uh, I'll just be honest. The bottom line <laughs> is you're you're definitely not going back to controversial company Super Eagle or any of their uh, sub uh, companies. That's that's fair to say. Um, no, I'm not going back. Uh-uh. I'm quite happy where I'm at. You know, I take my son to work with me. We, we get to relax. We, you know, like we just went to Niagara Falls the other day. Um, you know, I'm still making money, even though I take the time to do all these little fun things while we're out, you know, so I, I'm comfortable where I'm at. You know, I don't do this for the money per se. Like, I do it because I like to travel. I get paid to travel. I get to see the country, you know. So to me, that's more important than making the money because I know I'm still making money. But at the same time, like, we've been so so many different places. We've been all the way over to California. We've been to um, Hollywood, you know. We've been pretty much every state in the last last six months for sure. Um, So it's it's been going well, like, you know. I just, I, I don't do it for the money. I do it for the experience and, and the fun. You know, I take my kids with me. We we get out, we do things. Do you do you think uh, Super Eagle was able to find uh, their equipment? Do you, do you think they was able to find it eventually? Uh, probably eventually. It probably got impounded. Um, I know it had to have sat there at least, uh, it had to have sat there a couple of weeks. If not, it like probably went to the tow yard where it probably either got crushed or it got auctioned. You know, that's whatever they do with the vehicles that are sitting there for a substantial amount of time. I think usually that they, they call the companies and let them know like, hey, we found your truck, it's abandoned, blah, blah, blah. Uh, whether or not they did that, I don't know. I mean, this is a Walmart that allowed truck parking, and the fact that it went three weeks without them finding it kind of makes me wonder what happened to the truck. I do wonder. It was a great truck. I loved it. So, again, Amanda, no no, uh, no consequences, No nothing on your DAC report, No, no police report, no warrants, no nothing. Not that I know of. Nobody said nothing to me. Would you did did you did you check your DAC report? Did you ever do that? No. I mean, I ain't worried about it. So you so being that you didn't so de- being that you didn't check it, you you wouldn't know if if controversial company Super Eagle put that on. You know, I'll be honest with you. I don't even know how to check that. I ain't never looked at it. Hi. I'm just gonna be be honest with you. Hirerite dot com. H i r e right dot com. Definitely, you might wanna. I mean, if you already said you're good with the with the company you're at, which is awesome, but Jesus Christ, Mister, you okay in there? Oh, my. oh, oh. You all right? You run from me, you fucking cocksucker. Where's my fucking money? I'll get it. I'll get it. My neck, Tony. And what do you think? I'm an asshole? Huh? No, no, no. Huh? No, Tony. I can't hear you. Can't. No, no, please. Tony. Oh, oh. It, it, usually, uh, stuff don't get put on your DAC report not right away. So here's a tip, everybody. If you leave a company 
for whatever reason, you got about 15 to 30 days before it actually show up on the DAC report if that company uh, decides to report it. Now, everybody that I have talked to thus far that has their issues with controversial company Super Ego says that, you know, they don't put nothing on the DAC report. But, mm -hmm. I mean, with so many disgruntled drivers out there now, I mean, I I probably would not put it past them for putting something on your DAC report. So definitely get it checked. Um, and to do that, it is HireRight.com, H-I-R-E.com, or Right.com, HireRight.com. All right, Amanda, well, again... Thank you for the sit down. Thank you for the update. Thank you. Thank you. You're very welcome. You're very welcome. Uh, there is a group on Facebook called Super Ego Scamming Group. I think it, there's there's a lot of groups of Super Ego on uh, Facebook. Guys, definitely check them out. Whole bunch of good stories in there. That's that's where I came to meet. Amanda, so definitely check it out. <laughs> All right, we're off the air. All right, thanks, Amanda. You're welcome. <laughs> I appreciate you. Big cheese got it locked. Boy. Don't you let me all night, yeah,